Springs, but coming up next, please make some noise for Bridget Gray. Once upon a time in a land far, far away, a girl was told stories of happily ever after, sold stories of Prince Charming's coming to her rescue, but this, this is no fairy tale. This is a story about real life and real love, and sometimes that shit ain't pretty. <laughs> like vomit and missed birthdays, like a smell of emergency rooms and someone else's perfume all up in the covers, and this is how you discover other lovers when technically you weren't together, but still it cuts deep into your confidence. And I know this must be love if I stay anyway. And I'm tired of learning the hard way that Cupid does not exist in the middle of crisis just like babies. Well, they don't come from the stork. So now I'm releasing these little girl notions that love comes wrapped in a heart-shaped box or in some kind of potion. No. Love is growing pains and sacrifice. It's biting your tongue when you really want to cuss and shout. It's saying, baby, please stay, instead of saying, get the fuck out. <laughs> wanting to break free but can't. Love is a cracked heart that's willing to risk. And this love of mine, oh, it is a sweet poison that I savor even though I know it is killing me slow. But as long as I am alive or until I am dead, I will continue to spread myself out on the bed, the kitchen sink, the bathroom floor, inside or outdoors, pressed up against TV, bent over altars and chairs, just about anywhere this love will have me. So he got me seeing stars in the middle of the afternoon. He says I have the power to change the mood of the entire room. I bright morning sky, a dark midnight blue. Both of us too afraid to believe it is true. Terrified that we are losing sight of ourselves, and we put our own needs up on the shelf. And so this love starts consuming our mind, our time, our energy, and our individuality, slowly turning rainbows into rainstorms of tears. So deep in love we are drowning in fear, and this love becomes angry and aggressive, jealous and possessive. When underneath all we know our love is righteous and blessed, but we choose to forget. So we stop knocking down walls and building dreams in their place. Instead of saying, I love you, we say, I need space to recoup and regroup and hopefully return. We cry over spilled milk that we spill it again so what lesson is learned. This love that becomes stern and scolds like a teacher does a student who is too smart to fail. And just when you both want to bail, don't you know this love sets sail at high tide. So we swallow our pride and we decide to fight for this love. We rewrite these trees we wrote before in disappearing ink. This love that makes me think so hard has become the main source of my attention deficit disorder. This love that has no borders but has boundaries, complete with insecurity, skeletons, and good intentions, but still, Somehow this is love, holding on to a grudge, tumbling in and out of bliss. We become completely reckless with each other's secrets and vulnerabilities, scared, fragile, trying to walk them out in the other's shoes, trying to see the other's point of view. But we continue to argue arguments that no one ever wins, attempting to work it out but getting under each other's skin, battling logic against euphoria, pitting reason against rapture. And just when I think I'm done, don't you know, he manages to capture my soul by simply comparing me to a flower, and himself the hummingbird drawn to my nectar but can't explain why. This love that tries to stay blind but still sees fault because love makes mistakes then searches for the words to make things right. And somewhere along the way I did lose sight of my love, so I rewrote this poem in braille, and I continue to remind myself that this is no fairy tale, and I am no damsel in distress. I'm more like Clementine in eternal sunshine, just a fucked up girl trying to do her best. And he is no Prince Charming, no savior, not my hero or my daddy, but just a man doing what he can and giving his all as we both stumble and fall. And this sometimes real life ain't always pretty.